Good morning to all. I, Cadet Rohit Kumar from the College Vidya College of Engineering, Merit, will present a PPT on Waste Management. Now, these are the contents or topics we will cover. Now, the introduction. Waste management is all those activities and action required to damage waste from its inception to its final disposal. This includes, amongst other things, collection, transport, treatment, and disposal of waste together, with monitoring and regulation. It also encompasses the legal and regulatory framework that relates to waste management, encompassing guidance on recycling, etc. Waste is being generated everywhere. Waste comes from our homes, schools, colleges, hospitals, markets, industries, agriculture, and commercial places. Waste includes all items that people no longer have any use for, which they either intended to get rid of or have already discarded. I includes any material which is not needed by the owner, producer, or processor. Now, these are the source of waste, household waste, industrial waste, and agricultural waste. Now, these are the types of waste. The first one is on the basis of physical state, solid waste, liquid waste, and gaseous waste. And the second one is on the basis of biodegradability, biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste. The third one is on the basis of effects of on human health, hazardous waste and non-hazardous waste. Now, the waste management. Waste management shall mean the collection, transport, recovery and disposal of waste, including the supervision of such operation and aftercare of disposal sites. European Union Directive on Waste However, the newer concepts of waste management talk about reduce, reuse and recycle of waste over and above waste disposal. Now, the present status of waste management. Domestic and trade waste thrown on streets. Construction, debris left unattended. Biomedical waste disposed in municipal waste streams. Industrial waste disposed of in open areas. Segregation of recyclable waste at source is lacking. Street sweeping is not done every day. Waste transportation done in open vehicles. Design and location of municipal waste storage depots in is inappropriate, resulting in littering of uh, garbage. Rag pickers collect recyclable from municipal bins dump sites and litter. The waste causing insanitary conditions. Final disposal is done through crude dumping. <coughs> Hazards of poor waste management. Poor waste handling and disposal leads to environmental pollution, breeding of disease, vector insects, animal scavengers and disease bearing rodents public or communities nuisance due to the fall order and unsightliness obstruction of drainage systems fire hazards now the traditional types of waste management the first one is landfill it is the most traditional method of waste disposal it is generally used for domestic waste. Waste is directly dumped into the disused quarries, mining voids, or bureau pits. 
disposed washed waste is compacted and covered with soil gases generated by the decomposing waste materials are often burned to generate power now the second one is incineration incineration is waste treatment process that involves the combustion of solid waste at 1000 degrees celsius waste materials are converted into ash flue gases and heat the ash is mostly formed by the inorganic constituents of the waste and gases due to the in, uh, organic waste the heat generated by incineration is used to generate electric power now the third one is pyrolysis pyrolysis is defined as thermal degradation of waste in the absence of air to produce charcoal pyrolysis oil and syngas that is the conversion of wood to charcoal it is also defined as the destructive distillation of waste in the absence of oxygen external source of heat is employed in this process now the fourth one is biogas biogas typically refers to mixture of different gases produced by the breakdown of organic matter in the absence of oxygen biogas can be produced from raw materials such as agricultural waste manure municipal waste plant material sewage green waste or food waste it is a renewable energy source and a very small carbon footprint now the management of e waste e waste comprises of wasted electronics goods which are not fit for their original intended use such electronics goods may be television telephones radios computers printers fax machines dvds and cds etc electronics products like computers and cell phones contain a lot of different toxins for example cathode ray tube or crts contain heavy metal such as lead barium and cadmium which can damage human nervous and respiratory system if they enter the water system now these are the effects of e waste the effects of e waste on the environment and the effects of e waste on the human health when we talk about effects of e waste on the environment they are pollution of groundwater acidification of soil air pollution e waste accounts for 40% of the lead and 70% of the heavy metals found in the landfills and if we talk about effects of e waste on human health they are dna damage lung cancer damage to heart liver and spleen chronic damage to the brain asthmatic bronchitis now the management of e waste the first comes term comes in management of e waste is the source of e waste they are it and television equipment household appliances consumer and lighting equipment electrical and electronic tools toys laser and sports equipment medical devices monitoring and control instruments the major components of e waste management are e waste collection sorting and transportation 
e-waste recycling current methods of disposal of e-waste are landfilling and incineration now the technology currently used they are dismantling pulverization or hammering shredding density separation the management of the problem 7.2 million tons of hazardous waste generated every year in india this adds on one square kilometer of additional landfill area every year 1600 crores rupees spent for treatment and disposal of these wastes in addition to this industry's char discharge about 150 million tons of high volume low hazard waste every year which is mostly dumped on open low lying land areas now the growth of solid waste in india 62 million tons of solid waste generated every year in india the quantity of such waste generated is growing by leaves and pounds in 1991 population of mumbai increased from 8.2 million to 12.3 million during the same period municipal solid waste has grown from 3200 tons to 5355 ton an increase of 67 percent a city like bengaluru produces 2000 ton of waste per annum the magnitude of problem how has solid waste affected us in recent years in mumbai 2005 clogged the seaways line due to large number of plastic bags blast in bhushan steel factory at noeda 2004 caused due to the imported scrap from iran reduction in the number of uh, migratory birds due to the consumption of contaminated fruits animals dying on streets and uh, farmland due to the consumption of plastic bags which books the food movement in their stomach now the environmental now the environmental effects surface water contamination groundwater contamination soil contamination and air contamination now the economic effects they are municipal well-being and recycling revenue now the responsible waste management hierarchy the element of this hierarchy are reduce reuse recycle recovery and disposal reduce that is generating less waste in everyday life reuse that is repairing or reconditioning devices or parts for reuse recycle that is turning material into a new substance or product recovery that is recovery energy when you can't recycle and the last one is disposal landfill well no alternative now these are the three R's the first R is reuse reuse envelopes reuse single-sided paper for scratch paper reuse foam peanuts and other packaging material use remanufactured or 
surplus office equipment use rechargeable batteries use rechargeable fax and printer donate toys and other items to now the second r is reduce make double sided copies circulate memos documents and periodicals use durable cups and silverware proofread documents on the computer screen purchase merchandise with minimal packaging or order in bulk read periodicals online send e-cards now the third r is recycle saves limited natural resources prevents greenhouse gas emission and water pollutants saves energy provides raw materials for industry and creates jobs saves landfill space did you know about 0.17 million tons of municipal solid waste is generated in india every day that is approximately 62 million tons annually per capita waste generation in major indian cities ranges from 0.2 kg to 0.6 kg difference in per capita waste generation between lower and higher income groups range between 180 to 800 gram per day the urban local bodies spend approximately 500 rupees to 1500 rupees per ton on solid waste for collection transportation treatment and disposal about 60 to 70 percent of this amount is spent on collection 20 to 30 percent on transportation and less than 5 percent on final disposal waste collection efficiency in indian cities ranges from 50 percent to 90 percent out of the total municipal waste collected on an average 94 percent is dumped on land and five percent is composted between 2000 and 2025 the waste composition of indian garbage will undergo the following changes organic waste will go up from 40 percent to 60 percent plastic will rise from four percent to six percent metal will escalate from one percent to four percent glass will increase from two percent to three percent paper will climb from five percent to fifteen percent other as sand will decrease from 47 to 12 percent now the final conclusion it is found that with increase in global population and the rising demand for food and other essentials there has been a rise in the amount of waste being generated daily by each household waste that is not properly managed especially excerata and other liquid and solid waste from households and the community are a serious health hazard and lead to the spread of infectious or infectious diseases thank you